boat handling skills are acquired through practice. You can't possibly learn to perform the maneuvers shown in this video without actually doing them. Trial and error methods will eventually teach you how, but nothing beats knowing the right way and then practicing it. So we suggest you view one or a very few of the segments of this program at a time and then practice them on the water until you can perform the maneuvers proficiently and with confidence. All boats handle individually different. Deep hull boats handle differently than shallow hull boats. Heavy boats handle different than lighter boats. No two boats handle exactly the same. Even two identical models, powered exactly the same, will handle different when loaded with varying quantities of people, equipment, and fuel. If you're operating somebody else's boat, take it slow and easy at first. The tip is to get used to the boat before you operate it as if you would your own. If not, you might get into a hazardous situation when the boat doesn't respond like you thought it would. When you're following a compass heading, avoid zigzagging too much. If you should be steering at a compass reading of 180 degrees and you're headed at 107, don't overreact and find yourself steering at around 190. It's best to slowly and slightly alter your steering to change your course to the ideal straight line. This is something you'll learn from experience because it varies from boat to boat as well as with the prevailing sea and wind conditions. Excessive zigzagging from one point to another requires more time on route and more fuel for your engines. One aspect of boat handling is watching the waves and recognizing the different types. The height of a wave isn't merely determined by the wind speed, but also by the length of time and distance the wind has been blowing. If the wave height and wind speed against you increase while you're on the water, and the period of the wave, or the time required for a crest to pass a given point, suddenly decreases, you have a potentially dangerous situation. You better get off the water or start planning on how to deal with the conditions coming. Boaters familiar with twin engine inboards know that you can easily turn your boat in tight quarters using only your gears. Many twin engine outboard operators don't take advantage of this. If the outboards have counter-rotating props, which negate a prop wash effect, the boat is really easy to maneuver in tight quarters using only the gears. Since props are designed to propel a boat forward more than backwards, the engine in forward gear tends to move quicker than the one in reverse. You can offset this effect by simply applying a slight amount of extra power to the reverse engine. In most cases, it's much easier to maneuver a twin engine outboard with counter-rotating props using this method of steering than it is if you only use your steering wheel. Most boats are designed to move forward, not backwards, but some back easier than others. Your propeller pulls your boat in reverse and the bow tends to follow, but if you turn in one direction or the other really quickly, your bow may swing in the opposite direction, so be careful turning when you're backing. Also, your transom is generally square and perpendicular to the direction you're traveling, and water tends to come over it if you back too fast, so this should be carefully observed also. The easier way to steer backwards is to turn around and face astern. This way you'll still turn to the right and go to the right and vice versa.